So that was uh, our a viewer, Cody. And he said, uh, hey, this is Dark Hey, Dial. this is Dark Dial. Um, what are your guys' thoughts on the Mothman? What is our thoughts on the Mothman? I, my first thought, frankly, about the Mothman is whether or not he is scaly or furry. Yeah, I imagine furry. But oh. I have an unrealistic fear of moths. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because I had one crawl up my nose in my sleep, and I thought it was going to eat my brain. Oh. It was the most terrifying thing in the world. And for like a month after, I slept in pantyhose like oh, over my God. head because I was so scared that the nice. moth was going to climb up my nose again. again. Crawl. Oh my God, I love moths, but now oh, I'm no, no, no. Uh, reconsidering that. Oh no, it was terrible. Uh, I mean, moths are usually furry. What gets me about Mothman is the Chicago connection to Mothman. So if you're not familiar with Mothman, back in like 1966 in Point Pleasant, West Virginia, um, there was the sightings of this Mothman creature, and it it preceded a large bridge collapse. Uh, there's a movie with uh, what's the guy's name? Richard Gere, I think. Greer. 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 Um, <laughs> the Mothman Prophecies, which is based off of a book, but a lot of the stuff that went into that was just fiction. Some of like the weird. If you've ever seen the movie, there's some weird like, uh, like static on phones and like uh, electronic phenomenon that's associated with it. But that was never a thing in Point Pleasant, West Virginia, prior to that um, movie and that that book. The bridge that collapsed there, I think, was one of the deadliest in U.S. history. So the the common conception is that Mothman may be a harbinger of doom or a sign of catastrophe or pending catastrophe of some sort. Um, what I think's weird is the Mothman sightings that exist around the world outside of that initial story. And a lot of them center in the Chicagoland area, uh, specifically around O'Hare Airport. So what I pulled up here is I found a, a math, uh, a, a math, a map of weird uh, sightings of Mothman-like creatures in the Chicago land area, and here is O'Hare Airport, and you can see how many sightings have apparently occurred. And I mean, like we could try to read through some of these; they're they're pretty wild. Uh, Chicago fireman, and that's. That's one thing that's consistent, especially around the O'Hare area, is that you have like flight controllers, pilots, firemen, people who are supposed to be of some degree of uh, reputation merit. and merit. Yeah, like like we talked about with the UFO videos, you get a UFO video from a trained fighter pilot or drone operator. It feels uh, a little bit more like it has credence behind it. Yeah, versus like Crackhead Larry who hangs out behind the Walmart. Yeah, of course yeah, he's like seen it. Larry. I was gonna say Crackhead Larry. He is my friend. He's, he's one of my best friends. So much good conversation. Eyewitness testimony is better when it's coming from some sort of like first responder or professional. Uh, especially if you're an air traffic controller and you've seen these things. And there have been stories where air traffic controllers have seen the Mothman in and around O'Hare Airport. That's interesting. And I mean like to be an air, the, the rigidity of the requirements to be an air traffic controller is extremely hot. Yeah, you have to be on your game because you're landing planes, you're controlling air traffic. Uh, there's no room there for a mix up. If you've ever seen it in a movie or in maybe a clip of an actual control room in real life, I mean, these people are working crazy hard, spitting numbers uh, and radio transmissions to, to control traffic. And O'Hare Airport is a busy airport. I mean, it's Chicagoland's largest airport. Uh, you know, Midway would probably be the second largest, which is south of it. But here we have a, a what seems to be a center. And maybe the map doesn't do it as much justice, but there is a whole bunch of them right around O'Hare Airport. So here's one about a fireman. Uh, I was flying in at O'Hare Fire Station number two on July 4th, 2022 weekend. We were outside in the uh, patio area talking and watching 
the distant fireworks display and we talked we heard what sounded like a very loud large uh, sorry very loud screech noise I'm reading it from a very little screen so be patient with me it sounded like the brakes on a large truck uh, we didn't pay that any mind it was probably a semi or airport maintenance vehicle it was the good part second thought until we heard the dark series of clicks rabid loud clicking followed by that sound again it was then that one of the other guys saw something and said what WTF is that we looked up to see the figure in the sky it looked like a human with wings it had a pair of bright orange eyes one of the firefighters said it was the infamous Batman and said it was seen all over the airport and the surrounding suburbs <laughs> Well, I mean, Batman was filmed in Chicagoland, so... I'm picturing I Christian feel like that's, Bale. Yeah. You know, like, one or two of them was filmed there. Yeah, I feel like that's not totally... Not in 2022, and no, not in O'Hare Airport. Um, the, so, one thing to note here is the large orange eyes, the large reflective eyes that are reported in this, are consistent across all Mothman sightings, or at least most Mothman sightings. It always seems to be something with a very large reflective eyes. What reflective eyes? Some skeptics would say, what did you say? <laughs> I said, I want reflective eyes. I mean, your eyes are very reflective. They're shiny. I like them. Thank you. Um, anyway, yeah, so like cer certain skeptics, especially of uh, like the Point Pleasant, the original cases back in the mid late 60s because it was like 68 and 67 um they point out that it could have been a very large barn owl because owls have such large reflective eyes being nocturnal predators uh if you listen to these people's reports i'm not so sure that could be the case um in point pleasant you don't have the level of credibility to the eyewitnesses that you have around O'Hare Airport. And that's why, in particular, the O'Hare cases stand out to me as being some of the most credible uh, sightings of of this <clears throat> cryptid. And that's a lot of them, too. And it's a lot of them, yeah. I mean, like, so let me click around a little bit. Uh, I was working at station number three. I don't know if this says who it is. As we continued to approach the location, our headlights fell upon a large black okay. figure that looked like a man wearing black clothing, except he was at least eight feet tall, super, super thin, and had a large pair of bat-like wings. It took off into the air and was gone within a second or two, and we lost it in the <laughs> night sky. So as a part of the uh, normal routine, we take engines to get fuel at the maintenance yard. So. You know, this is some sort of worker there. This isn't just somebody passing by. It's somebody familiar with the area, whether or not they're... At Fire Station 3, that's not... That, that's like a... That's a fireman once again. The Chicago yeah. Tribune also did a whole article on sightings of Mothman in and around the uh, Chicago area. Well, and I have a few of those pulled up. The case of the Chicago Mothman. This is from 2019. Uh, this is NPR. Uh... Again, it's it's kind of fun to always point to, towards our uh, closest thing to state-run media that we have, doing reports on these things. And yeah, it talks about the Point Pleasant cases. The Silver Bridge is what it was called in 67, collapsed. So they say that sighting stopped after the collapse. Now, I'm not so sure that has anything to do with the Mothman. Uh, being some sort of heralder of doom as much as it is people have something else going on in their lives now you know they're not looking up for mothman necessarily maybe it's not hitting the papers the same way that it would have been when nothing else was happening you know in yeah. pleasant west virginia people don't look up anymore they're too clued to their phones um you're not wrong people are so here's just some some fun drawings. The Mothman. Red yeah. eyes, green eyes, yellow eyes, orange eyes have all been reported. Uh, six foot ten. So they're, they're talking about it being very large with a very large wingspan. 
Do you think it's a person that has been genetically modified to resemble that of a moth? Or is it more likely that it is some Lovecraftian nightmare that has escaped out of the horror realms solely to exist in normalcy with us? Well, okay, so there, there's a lot of speculation there. I don't know that it has to be either. Um, is it just a really big moth? I, it's I, like really big. I'm gonna sleep in pantyhose again, man. <laughs> like a, look at like a happen. great value bank robber. It's terrifying. <laughs> to my knowledge, the Mothman has never been reported hurting anyone. I mean, it scared people, but I don't think it's ever hurt anyone other than this idea that it is a sign of impending doom. And I'm not so sure I buy that because the sightings in and around O'Hare have been happening for a very long time. Or mm -hmm. in the Chicagoland area have been happening for a very long time. And that's not the only place. Like I just pull that out because that's what I personally know more about and I've paid attention about because I'm from <laughs> the Chicagoland area. Yeah. Um, and the sightings at O'Hare are also very well known and very well recorded and very well documented and again uh credible sources so I, I think it's it's the most interesting case study to look at when it comes to mothman it, it look it could be anything I, I don't think it's a genetically engineered anything i mean uh not a human moth hybrid no i i, I would not favor a human moth hybrid uh so i would say Mothman falls in line with a interdimensional being. Like, like I, I would put Mothman closer to Angel than I would to Genetic Mutant. You're telling me. Maybe it's like the Angel of Doom? I, well, it, again, you'd have to prescribe to that Doom theory. I'm not so sure that I do. Doom. Um, what I'm hearing is that the Machine Elves are really, really furry. <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe. I, I would... I think it's closer to an angel than it is anything else. I think the one that left us <clears throat> the message should call in and uh, put in what they... like, their thoughts on the Mothman. So here's another story. Uh, there has been another creepy Mothman encounter at Chicago's O'Hare Airport. This is from October 2020. Got now it is a little bit before Halloween, which might call it into question. Depends on what you believe about Halloween. Is it really a thinning of the veil between worlds? Because if this is some sort of interdimensional being, maybe that veil is thinnest around All Hallows Eve. Um, but so here's a case of somebody working at a sorting facility. They also state that they're 5'4 and the thing looked two feet taller. I mean, I'm 5'2 and you Chance looks two feet first, taller. Chance, that... So, I mean... That's true. That's true. <laughs> I'm not saying it, it, it has to be massive or anything. It's just... <laughs> it's something. You mind reading it, Chance? Which paragraph are we looking just, at? Just start at the top, if you don't mind. Yeah, absolutely. I had just left work at the USPS sorting facility at O'Hare Airport at about 11 p.m. on Thursday, the 24th of September, and was walking out to my car when I saw something standing at the far end of the parking lot where I usually park. At first, I thought it was a very tall person with a long coat. As I got closer to my car, I unlocked my car, which caused my headlights to come on. My headlights hit the person standing about 20 to 25 feet from my car, causing it to turn and look right at me. I saw that this was not some person, but some red eye and what appeared to be a coat were actually wings, which it spread out as it turned to look at me. At first, I thought it was some kind of very, very large bird, but I've never seen any bird that stood almost seven feet tall. I'm 5'4", and this thing looked taller than me by at least two feet. This thing then started making some type of chirping sound, almost a half chirp and half click, like someone was clicking their tongue, but much, much faster. It then made some type of screeching sound and took off running toward me. It got to within 10 feet of me and took off into the air and flew above me. I was screaming hysterically as I crouched down behind the car's open door and dived into my car head first. I was in a near panic as I tried to start the car, close and lock the doors and turn on my interior lights. I started my car and took off out of the parking lot and flew down the road till I hit the main road. I got home and told my husband, who also works at the same facility, and he was the one who told me about the sightings of these things. 
I was scared shitless, and I hope I never see the thing again. This thing is roaming around the area, scaring people half to death. I hope the airport <laughs> people decide to do something about this thing someday. <laughs> I imagine this was written people? as like a strongly worded yeah. letter to the airport's yeah. manager. <laughs> this is like <laughs> All right, Karen. <laughs> yeah, I like how it goes full. I don't even like the term, but it goes full Karen at the I end. Hope the <laughs> airport people Somebody should decide do to do something about, about this. Mothman. If you don't get the Mothman Not out of my airport anymore, <laughs> I'll never shop at this airport again. Yeah. <laughs> people are silly. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so th that's an that's an interesting case again. That common themes amongst these sightings too, the clicking and stuff like that. The other thing is it's not necessarily the most well-known thing in the area. You know, uh, my dad works very close to O'Hare Airport and I asked him and he was like, what are you talking about? He had no idea. He had no idea and he's worked real close to O'Hare for, I don't know, 30 years now. So it, it's not like Sasquatch in the Midwest where it's, this is a, a very tale that goes back into like, you know, prehistory almost it's not as well known as you would expect something to be to have such commonalities between the sightings so here's air traffic controller at an o'hare airport air traffic controller recalls his encounter with a tall red-eyed winged hominoid while on the job july 2020 i'm just clicking through a little bit to see if we see anything else you know what's weird is there's not hardly any sightings in the south. Interesting. It seems to be like a northerner thing. You don't like the humidity, man. <laughs> it's a northerner thing? It's a northerner thing. Yeah. Man, i tell you what. These damn, These damn Yankees. Yanks in their <laughs> Mothmans always coming down here. <laughs> Here's another... I'm from Georgia. I can make that voice There's... if I want to. It's another mailman. This is not the same one, right? We were, no, he no, it's he different. Does. It's a different one. Another mailman. I mean, he he just wants to read your mail. I mean, these are people that it, even if they're not, you know, mailman, you might not say is the most credulous person. Hey, they're federal agents, man. Technically, sure, but at the same time, they know the area. You know, it's somebody who works there, who who at least is familiar with the landscape. I don't know how to put that. Like, if I go up to the Pacific Northwest, where I'm not from, and I have a Sasquatch sighting, it could be a bear, you know? And I just don't see a lot of bears from that area. And I'm not familiar with what they look like. Whereas, there's no way to mistake these, especially if you're from that area, and you know, you know, uh, well, what did we call him, Crackhead Larry? Crackhead Larry likes to walk around in a trench coat with reflectors on his... Head Don't you like disparage bombs, Crackhead Larry you know? like that? He wears one of those spinny top caps. <laughs> exactly, and that's something you would know as a mailman in the area. You would think. This is weird. Two family members in a Bensonville, Illinois. Observed, uh... Yeah, I'm not seeing any cases of Mothman in the South. That is strange. It's, where does the cutoff line is it seems Virginia? like the south oh, has here. like chupacabra stuff like that but not mothman well i don't know this is this might be specifically focused on the chicago area well and there's there's other cryptids you know people don't think about cryptids in the midwest so i love cryptids the way you know you love government conspiracies chance mm -hmm. so i i feel like it's it's a it's a topic that I'm somewhat impassioned to talk about. No doubt. Um, you know, Ohio, they talk about the Ohio Grassman, which is like a Sasquatch. Just north of here, you talk about the Beast of Bray Road. Uh, up, up close to where Lake Geneva is here, which is like a werewolf-like creature. So it's not the only cryptid in the area, but it is a very interesting one that's very, I want to say underrated. In that it just doesn't get the press you might expect from it. Like there's been UFO sightings at O'Hare. Yeah. Uh, I, I there's one where it they see something traffic and again we're talking about air traffic controllers here who need to be sober as an eagle, um, with just as good of eyesight. Have seen UFOs hovering over O'Hare and shoot up and punch a hole through clouds. That was one big case 
so the, the, you know there's been ufo sightings is there a connection between the ufo sightings and mothman i don't know you know most of these that stories is are... int- what if he's an alien maybe but never seen with his ship what if he don't need a ship is this like a Denver airport kind of thing where we're Does talking he live about in some the sort tunnels of underneath the airport? Underneath O'Hare? I'm not sure. I'm not sure the airport's maintained enough to have tunnels, to be honest. O'Hare Has he airports. dug his own moth shaped tunnels? Hmm. I mean, that's interesting, though. I mean, with the UFO connection. Uh, I was coming up on the road between the exit after leaving work as I approached the curve by United Cargo. I noticed about eight security vehicles that had gathered around. As I approached, I saw something fly over the fence and head towards the runways. It looked like a giant man with a with large wings, uh, but I only saw it for a second or two before it was gone. I actually got out of my car and tried to take a picture before it flew out of range of my camera. But within a second or two of me getting out of my car, I had somebody yelling at me to get back in my car and get the heck out of there. I did as I was told and left. As I was driving out, more security vehicles were showing up. I decided to report this when I saw that other people were coming forward about what had happened, what happened that night. Interesting. I almost feel like it's some kind of religious thing, like a demon or angel or I don't know. I don't know. When it comes to cryptids in in a legitimate sense, I'm of the mind that they are all just like natural beings of the earth. Like they're just like weird creatures that we don't have the knowledge of. I would agree with you in I'm sorry, go ahead. No, no, you're good. I I just I don't I don't quite know where the O'Hare connection like why why that area attracts it. I honestly couldn't really tell you why Point Pleasant attracts it. I mean, it opens up, if Mothman is a harbinger of doom, he shows up at events where, you know, and I know you're not necessarily leaning into that idea, but just talking back on it, if he's if he's ending up at events where there are uh, exponential possible loss of human life or things like that, does that indicate that possibly there is something nefarious going on at O'Hare that is causing him to be sighted there that's just not made aware to the public? Well, that that's the concern, right? Yeah, I, That's just my personal opinion that Mothman is not connected to Doom, necessarily. Mm. Um, I like his little skeleton. He looks like an ant. <laughs> yeah, somebody somebody did good with that. His eyes terrify me. Yes, they are a bit scary. It'll be in my nightmare tonight. I would tend to agree with you. Most of the time when I think of cryptids, I think they're undiscovered species. Uh, Sasquatch, I don't lend a lot of credence to Sasquatch as an interdimensional being or that Sasquatch is uh, some sort of extraterrestrial. Although there are certain reports that connect the two. I tend to believe that Sasquatch is uh, an undiscovered and very limited uh, species. He's limited edition. So I tend to believe that that's what Bigfoot is, right? Bigfoot is just another species that's very stealthy, that exists in small numbers in areas that humans don't travel much and travel less and less all the time. But this doesn't fall in that category. It doesn't... seem to me to be something that could physically exist as another species especially given it its capability of flight i always say that about thunderbirds i struggle with thunderbirds because where are they they'd be in the air you know but just generally it doesn't strike me as an actual living thing i mean obviously it must be in some capacity but i don't it doesn't strike me as an undiscovered species this strikes me as like Jacqueline just said something angelic maybe a fallen angel or uh, something capable of traveling out of some other dimension to ours that's that's where I go with it we don't necessarily share our world with it it's intersecting with our world maybe we just built an airport in the middle of its living room (laughs) maybe yeah maybe it's some sort of ancient site who knows I don't know that so I know a little bit about the history of O'Hare Airport um o'hare airport was built over an apple orchard uh if you 
go on to like flight sites and you try to book a flight from O'Hare, the like I want to say call sign for it, but that could be wrong. Like you know how you know if you go to Phoenix, yeah, the three letter, the three letters is PHX to go to Phoenix Sky Harbor Airport. Well, to go to O'Hare, it's O R D, which doesn't sound a whole lot like O'Hare. There's no R or D. Well, it stands for Old Orchard, because I believe it was an apple orchard, or an orchard of some sort. Okay. Um, that's as far back as I know about the history of O'Hare, and that doesn't necessarily indicate anything <laughs> about the Mothman. And is there a connection between what is seen at O'Hare and what was seen in Point Pleasant, or is it just some similar type of creature we're seeing? The areas are relatively close enough. Not really. I mean, West Virginia is a long way away from Chicago. It's still in the same region. Well, people report Mothman all over the world. And I don't know if that's because it's like a Slender Man, like, it, you know, becomes somewhat of an internet meme. But there seems to be something going on at O'Hare. That story about the security officers, I don't know how much I buy that. Because, like, what, number one, there's not just regular airport security out there shooing the Mothman away with a broom, you know? <laughs> They're like, we got it, we got it. Get, get up the get, runway, get, Mothman! Get, get. <laughs> you know? He's sucked up by a jet engine and just freaking feathers fly out the back. God, it's I mean, the after that this carefully week. worded letter, though, they might have felt the obligation That's that true. they were responsible for the Mothman. And so they sent out a group of willing exactly. individuals to to go fight him. Yeah, handle the <laughs> to fight. They him. didn't want to lose business. So Mothman I get it. Fight Club. Yeah, for sure. So, hopefully, that answers your question, Cody. Yes, we have opinions about the Mothman. If Still you can't it's tell, a northerner thing. Damn Yanks and their damn giant moths.